Now, there are other fancy little things you can do. For instance, you, you can send an email or SMS a lot when somebody applies for payouts. So, um, if you wanted to do that, it's simple. You just Google how to send email with Laravel and then you add it here. After updating, you send the email before you redirect, before this line. Send the email or SMS or whatever you want to do. All right. So, we'll do the same thing for the markers paid. We will copy their similar. So, we'll copy this, paste here. So, we've pasted it on markers paid. We have to look at what we are watching and uh, what we're trying to solve. We'll, first of all, we'll receive the account. Secondly, we need to check if the the, um, the the logged in user is an admin. It's an admin. Since only an admin can approve, admin or moderator can approve payout. Update apply for payout field. Yeah, we're going to now set it to zero. So, to zero. So we can set the paid field to zero. Or play up the paid field to one to show that the person is paid. Paid field to one. I think that's it. But then we also have to um, update account history. Account history, uh, which um, we should do here too. Any transaction on the account, we should update it in the account history. So we will get back and do that. I'm thinking we should do it straight away. So to update account history, we'll do it somewhere here. So we're going to call it account history. Account history. We'll create a new account history. We'll do like this. Create. So the account history we're creating is has a user ID of of user id beautiful comma then it has a message of uh, payout request uh, initiated by account owner period so click this All right, now we need to import this at the top of the file. All right, I copy it account history and then I scroll all the way up. And we're gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna paste it here, duplicate this line, copy it again, paste here. Nobody has time to start typing all this code again. So, um, the account history is simply completed. We're gonna do that in this tool, so I'm gonna copy it and paste inside markers page so let's start looking now we we'll receive um the account id which is um mark as paid to confirm that that's what it is called we'll go to show blade and look at what is called here it's markers paid and it contains the account id beautiful so we'll call it markers paid i'm gonna drag this a little drag a little markers paid beautiful so we have account not found okay so if it doesn't exist account will throw an error then we need to check if this user is an i is an admin so we're gonna say role id role underscore id uh, we're going to check if you're an admin or a moderator that is if it's greater than two that that means you're not an admin or a moderator so we see an error you can't perform this operation if only admin if you're not an admin if you are not an admin okay so the next thing we do is um, update apply for payout field to zero so apply for payout field for the account put it on zero then apply for payout zero I'll update the paid field in accounts table to one so we're gonna do paid field we'll update it to one now here um we need to also put paid field to zero whatever it was before we don't want to know 
but we want to make sure that it stays at uh, it's now zero so but i need to confirm that the what we call the field in the migration is paid i'm going to click on this go to the migration so that we can confirm that the field's name is actually paid mm, account so it's called paid yeah beautiful all right so so far i hope everything is making sense to you so once you apply for payout, we'll, we'll, we'll mark it that you have applied for payout, but then whatever your payment status is, we we'll set it to zero so that you've not been paid. So, but when uh, an admin marks you as paid, we'll set your apply for payout to zero, which means you've not applied, but then we we'll also mark that you've been paid. Beautiful, that is beautiful. And then uh, on the account history, um, we can say um, payment um, completed by admin or payment um, approved by admin payment completed by admin all right so another thing we can do is to put the id of the admin so that we know which admin did that so we can do admin auth user id so at every point in time we look at the account history we'll see um, who made the payment now the account history needs to be tied to this account so we're gonna do account underscore id um account id beautiful comma copy this line still go to the top and add it because every account history needs to be um, tied to an account so update account history which is what we have done show success message so show success message yes redirect and display success message application submitted so ah, I can't believe I wrote such um, um, account marked as paid oh, let's do successfully yeah so here we are going to correct the grammar submitted successfully all right and then we we'll redirect beautiful beautiful so we're gonna have to test this but to test it we have to make ourselves the admin and what i'm thinking now is should we test it in the next video or not this video is already too long let's test it in the next video